So let's talk about one of the technologies, one of the techniques that will allow us to emulate life and the complexity of life. The idea is to um, make the player the hero of his own story. And one very simple way to do this is to create what we call a tree structure. So basically your story, instead of being linear, like in a film, you will have branches where each new possibility becomes a new branch in your story tree. But actually, if you make a choice, the way we can see here on screen, you, you start with the intro and then you have three options. But these three options will lead to more options and each of these new branches will lead to more branches. And you just create a very complex tree structure uh, that emulates all the possibilities that you have in the scene. So there's a logic between them. I mean, each one is the consequence of a choice made by the player, but at the same time, it can become very complex. What I love about this very simple system is that it's a way to represent actually how life actually works. When you make a choice, this choice has consequences that will open new possibilities for you. And you will make another choice that will open new possibilities for you. So you can consider the complexity of life and your story in life as a tree structure. What is important to understand here is that compared to a film script that would happen in 2D uh, through time and space, two dimensions, an interactive script takes place in three dimensions, time, space, and possibilities. It creates really a, la a layer of complexity that makes the writing much more complex, much more difficult to apprehend. And to show you this example, this is a tree structure. The previous tree structure for it was from Heavy Rain. This is a tree structure from Detroit Become Human, where each box is basically an event happening in the story. And you can see the complexity of the branches and the variables and the conditions and all the things that may happen. So of course, as a writer, when you need to apprehend such a level of complexity, you need to be very organized, very structured, and have a very clear understanding of the story that you want to tell and how you want to tell it. One last quick word about technology, technology to create emotion. Quantic Dream is a very special studio because we develop our own technology for um, 24 years, basically our own engine, our own you know, pipelines, our own tools, our infrastructure with motion capture, etc. So everything is really basically developed in-house uh, with this philosophy of developing technology in order to support storytelling and emotion. So, Cinematography, for example, is a very important aspect of any experience developed uh, by Quantic Dream. Physical camera is a good example. We try to have cameras that are not virtual digital cameras that have no weight, no size, no speed. We try to have cameras that have a lens that can, can you know, have a depth of field that really recreate the physicality of a real camera. We uh, also want cinema quality acting and directing, so that's something very important. This is why also we spend a lot of time casting the, the best talents and uh, spending time working with them on the studio, directing them and working on the emotion and the performance. We respect absolutely all storytelling and filming rules. Of course, we need to invent and adapt to our format, but at the same time, storytelling and filming have rules established for, you know, uh, centuries and uh, for, for storytelling and, and one century for, for films. We try to learn these rules and, and really to respect them. That's something very important. Lighting is probably the most important thing. And sometimes people, especially in video games, underestimate the importance of lighting. Lighting like in, is, is even more important than in cinema. It can make a huge difference in your game if you respect the basic rules of lighting. And sometimes also people forget, but soundtrack is 50% of the image, of the impact that an image will have on the audience. Surprisingly, a good soundtrack will make your game look better surprisingly, and that's something we confirmed many, many times over the past 24 years. At Quantic Dream, we continue to invest on developing technologies to create emotion. Photogrammetry is a new way to scan actors and have hyper-realistic, you know, rendering on characters in general. We work on mo what we call motion matching, which is a new way to use motion capture to have more realistic 
movements. And this is really a new, new approach to how characters can move more naturally in games. And of course, we work on deep learning, neuronal networks, and uh, of course, rendering and ray tracing and added reality, etc., etc. So there, there are many new technologies that we work on at Quantic Dream in order to not just to make a technical showcase, uh, but really to make our, our games more emotional more intense uh, and more, you know, immersive. And that's it for me today. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. It's been a pleasure uh, sharing with you this, this, these ideas and what I learned creating Detroit Become Human.